What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is your boy Tariq Ali. <laughs> what's up Tavies and to all the new people, what's up? Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys how I do my everyday makeup. It's a very minimalist, not a lot of makeup. Sometimes I might do the glam, sometimes I might do this, but most of the time I do this makeup routine that I'm going to show you guys today because it's so simple, it looks like skin. So you guys know how I am. I'm not really big on the whole gender thing and you know what is what for which gender. And the only reason I put four men in this title is because that's how the rest of the world thinks unfortunately so you know for the purposes of that you know but this is not necessarily just for men I put the slash for minimalist also because it isn't a lot of makeup it's very easy and when I do this tutorial I'm going to be keeping in mind the prices I know a lot of the people that want to do this style of makeup do not want to have a billion things to buy they want a quick routine like they can do in three or five minutes and they want it to look very, very subtle. They don't want people to know they're wearing makeup. So I'm keeping all of that in mind, and that is why I think this routine is so perfect for men and for those people that are, you know, a little scared to show their feminine side, you know? Everybody takes a little bit more time, you know? But you can wear makeup and be straight and gay. It does not matter, okay? I'm just here to push that narrative. I had to get that out in the beginning because I will be fake if I, like, put this video up and said it was for men and then, you know and other videos. I'm like, oh, I don't, you know, normalize things to gender. I'm here to tell you, you can do what you want to and still be a certain sexuality. Makeup, what you wear and what you look like has nothing to do with your sexuality. Okay, this is not about, you know, being politically correct. I'm gonna get to the video. But I just had to get that out. Because if you know me, you know that's what I do. I gotta be politically correct. You know what I mean? Because can't be, can't be pushing the wrong narrative. And make sure you go ahead and like this video and you subscribe and you put the notification bell on. So without further ado, let's just, you know, uh, I guess we can get started. Yeah, let, let's get, let, let, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, before I do any makeup or anything to my face, I always do my skincare routine. I'm not gonna go through that in this video because I have a video on that already. You can go ahead and press the eye up here to watch that. Mind you, this routine is gonna be a little, you know, real conversation. You know, I don't wanna talk to y'all like y'all experts because I already know if you're watching this video, you probably don't wear that much makeup or if you do, you're trying to level it down. So I'm not gonna be speaking like you know everything. Okay, so the first thing you usually put on is your primer. Today I'm gonna to be using my Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. It's used to get rid of pores, it smooths over those pores so that it looks like your face is just one surface. Like you can't see all of those holes. It's just clear and smooth skin. And it helps for the application of the makeup. Is primer necessary? I know a lot of people who are watching this video don't want to buy a lot of stuff. Is primer necessary? It's not necessary, but it usually helps with your skin looking very smooth because it gets rid of those pores. It gets rid of that roughness that holes make a surface look. Remember, you don't have to get this primer. You can go to Walgreens or CVS and get a cheaper primer and see how those work for you. There's some like $3, $4. The next thing I usually do after that is darken the areas around my face where people usually contour. And I'm just gonna use that with a color that is my skin tone, but a little darker so that it goes on smoothly and doesn't look ashy. So there's a lot of things that you can use for this. I'm gonna be using the NYX palette today. This is a really cheap product. I got this from Walgreens and I got like four of them because I wasn't sure how long they would last and girl, it's been almost a year because, so this is a brand new one because I am with the other ones looking all, you know, ratchet in my video. So this is the NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. Um, these come in three different, um, like, shades of this palette. So if this one doesn't work for you, try the other ones. If it doesn't, you can use foundation around your face. That works also. Sometimes I use this MAC in the shade 7.5. Y'all probably won't notice, but my, my forehead, the reason I'm not putting a lot on my forehead is because my forehead is darker than the rest of my face down here. The reason I like using this palette is because it is creamy and it blends in with your skin really well. After I'm done putting that on around my face, I'm just gonna put the left over what's ever left on the brush on my nose and on my eyelids. So after that, you're just gonna take a beauty blender. I got this from Amazon, girl. Um, you usually clean your beauty blender like every day or after every time you use it because you do not want to use dirty old makeup on your face. That's how you get bumps. Okay, so if you want clear skin, do not be using your beauty blenders 20 times before you wash it again. The reason it's dirty is because I used it before this video, so I'm not a dirty, you know, person or whatever. So you're gonna wet it, okay? You need to put it on the seat, wet it all the way and rinse it out. Like if I squeeze it, the water will come out, but you want to make sure that it's moist. Okay. So you're gonna go ahead and you're just gonna pat that color in. 
what you're doing is just pressing. You're not dragging, you're just pressing until it smooths out on your skin, it buffers, okay? You wanna get rid of those lines. You don't wanna see where the makeup started. Like, you just wanna get it into your skin. Can you see now how the outside of my face looks a little darker and it, I don't even have concealer on and it already looks like the inside of my face is light, like it's boom, you know, like I have on concealer and I dumped. Right when you think you finished blending, keep blending, okay? Blend for a minute more, okay? Because that's, girl, I'm telling you, makeup, the one thing you need to do is blend. You just need to blend, you just need to blend and keep blending. You wanna go over it with some setting powder, okay? Because if you don't set it, I mean, you'll be okay, but it probably, you might touch your face or something like that, or just being outside. The temperature, anything, can make your makeup like wear off. So, something that makes it last is powder. You do not have to do it, but because this is a contour palette, a contour and highlighting palette, it's creamy, it's going to wear off. Um, I've done it times where I didn't use powder and I was okay, but it, you know, it fades a little bit. I'm gonna be going over with this banana powder from Revolution. It's very cheap, it's like $6 from Ulta. I'm gonna dump out a little bit on this top. So once you put it on the brush, you're gonna see it just blow it off a little bit and pat that on the skin to make it last. You don't wanna put a lot because you don't wanna have an ashy face. You want it to look very natural. Okay, so after that, we just smoothed out the outside of our face. We wanna smooth the middle of our face and the parts of our face that don't have any product on it. So after that, I go in with the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Caramel to um, highlight under my eyes, my forehead, and on my chin and over my top lip. So what I do is I warm it with my finger. I just get my finger like this, go to my eye, swipe down, okay? Once you swipe down, you're gonna go across. Get a little bit more product, and you're gonna make a triangle. I use my fingers for this, I don't use a brush. Um, make sure your finger is clean because if your finger is dirty or if you have some other product on it, it will get in to that area where you put this product and you have to wipe it off and start over. It all depends on how much you want. Um, the reason I like this product so much and the reason I use this Fenty Beauty is because it's so sheer. It's not really heavy like most concealers because it is creamy. I'm gonna go over my forehead. I put a little bit on my forehead, not too much, and I dab. I don't swipe, I dab. I go down my nose, top lip, and chin. So you wanna make sure, you're gonna go back over, over with your finger and you're gonna smooth it out. A little trick that I do when I get on the outside parts right here, because this is usually where you notice if you have makeup, like you see that when you do this or make a face or something like that, you can see that clear divide between that light and that darker color. I just pat around the eye like this on the outside, okay? So after the concealer, you have to make sure that you set the concealer. You don't have to, as I said before, I know a lot of people just don't wanna buy powder because when you buy powder or setting powder, you feel like you're really just doing a lot with makeup. I know, I know how you feel, trust me. So if you want it to last the longest, like if you wanna wear this all day and have it look the same as when you first put it on, you need to set it, okay? So you're gonna do that same technique. I actually got this brush and the product that I'm about to use from my favorite makeup YouTuber, which is Alyssa Ashley. Make sure y'all subscribe to her because the girl, she just inspires me, okay? She's like my Nicki Minaj of makeup. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Micro Smooth in the shade Tan. I'm just gonna pat this brush on it a few times. You're gonna see a little product on it. You don't want too much at first. Always go little first. Do not go big and, or go home, okay? Because you will stay home, okay, with bad makeup. So, make sure you put a little bit up there. The goal of this step is to really just blend between your concealer and where you contour it on the outside of your face. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go on the parts where it meets and you're just gonna dab like that where you contour and where you highlight it and you want to get rid of those harsh lines where you can see the difference between the highlight and the contour so this is actually a stopping point for some people some people think this is enough I look clear enough it looks good enough and I can stop right here this is what I would do if I really don't want people to know I'm wearing makeup right now I put on more product than I would if I was using it for like I I'm not wearing makeup because you really wouldn't know because it just goes together so well but I put on more product than usual than that because I wanted you guys to actually see the products see how I'm using it and see how you buffer it and see how you control it on your face and everything 
but you can stop here if you feel like that's enough if you don't want to add anything else um, for the other people you can keep watching and there's it's just a couple little bit more things that you can do to make it seem like I'm not wearing a lot of makeup but I'm wearing a little bit I'm going with this Fenty Beauty matchstick and truffle and I'm just gonna contour but I'm only going to do a little bit I'm gonna dab okay dab okay not too much you're not gonna swipe you're gonna dab and I'm gonna bring it up a little bit to cuff that cheekbone cuff that cheekbone And if you want to contour your nose, you're just going to go in with a brush and you're just going to spike it a little bit. But I do, before I go on my face with anything darker after I put stuff on it, because you can mess it up and I don't like fixing, I put it on my arm first to make sure she not too much, okay? It, just get a little bit of that product off. And to contour your nose, you're just going to go on this side. And you're going to bring it up to where your eyebrow starts. And I want to go under the nose and make and make like an arch under so it makes my nose look a little pointy it's all a preference of what type of nose you like okay if you do this and you get a harsh line just go on the side and swipe it down a little bit and then on your cheeks where you contour you're just gonna go in with a beauty blender and you're just gonna pat that and don't drag that beauty blender anywhere where you're not using it that color will transfer for this look, I do not do my eyebrows because eyebrows just give it away with makeup, okay? If you want a natural makeup look, that's different. But if you want it to look like very minimalist, very I'm not wearing makeup, don't do your eyebrows because when you do your eyebrows, it's so easy to see a pencil on your face, okay? So like, I know when you did your eyebrows. Everybody knows when you did your eyebrows. So I never do my eyebrows. I just brush my eyebrows out. If you do want to give a pop or if you do want to highlight your face, if I use a lot of cream, I like to stick to cream. And if I use highlighter, if I want to put on highlighter, I like this sleek palette, um, the Precious Metals palette. So what I do is like to warm it up with my finger, mm -hmm. wipe some off on my arm. When you highlight, you want to go in from the end of your eyebrow to this corner of your eye, this area right here, and I'm just going to pat it. down the nose after all of that to keep to lock it all in you want to go in with them some setting spray so what I use is urban decay chill makeup setting spray cooling and hydrating so that is it for this tutorial I hope that it was really helpful for you I really tried to explain everything in layman's terms and you know the way that I would like to hear it if I was learning back when I was learning. Like I said, you don't have to use these products. Know what products are best for you. Go to these makeup stores, try everything that you buy, okay? You have to remember that makeup has no rules, so you can use anything that you like. If it's contour, if it's foundation around your face, you can use anything that you like, anything that you find works best for you. If you do this look, if you do this routine, please put it on Instagram and make sure you tag me at It's Tariq Ali. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please make sure you subscribe and press that notification bell. I love all my tabies and to the new people, I hope you stay around. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.